Okay, there's our spark. Our uh, pilot is lit. Now the flame on the left is warming the uh, bimetal to make the switch. The flame on the right will actually light the burner. Now you can see the high tension cable down there and you can also see the quarter inch aluminum tube for gas. The high tension cable does a spark and uh, the gas comes through the uh, pilot uh, too. And it's all coming from up here to that gas valve. Now that gas valve uh, allows the pilot to come on but won't allow main gas to come on until the uh, pilot has proven, in other words, warmed that bimetal switch and allowed it to turn over. Okay, you can see your spark attempting to light. Okay, I allow the gas to come on. You can see the spark slows down. It generally stops after a little bit. Uh, and it starts to warm the biometal with the left side and uh, will ignite the main burner with the right. You can see this is your igniter. It's an electronic box. 24 volts comes into it. High tension lead comes out on the left. Go pilot which is still warming. And there we go, the main gas is on uh, and it has lit. If this uh, pilot does not light uh, or the switch uh, here does not work, you have a failure in this pilot assembly and you're going to have to replace that pilot assembly. You can try cleaning it. If the uh, pilot light is yellow and lazy, you can uh, clean it. That's about all you can do. The switch is inside here, and you can try pulling that apart to clean it. I'm not sure you're going to have a lot of luck. And that's the operation of the three-wire carrier pilot assembly.